The Tesch Winery is um, situated in northern Germany, in the Nahe area. It's um, 50 miles north of Frankfurt. And we're totally specialized on dry Riesling wines. Yeah? We have the uh, phenomenon that we have uh, very different soils in our area. The climate is ideal to grow Riesling. And uh, the character of uh, Riesling changes with soils. One of the special things may be that we are totally uh, uh, focused on dry Riesling wines. This is unusual for Germany, but we have a very good experience for dry ones. But ten years ago we were um, thinking about or, or working on a new bottling line. And uh, we know we, 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 we optimized the, the bottling process in every detail. And it made no sense for us to, to put a cork in it. Yeah, you, 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 you optimize and optimize and then you uh, produce, I don't know, a few percent of uh, uh, damaged wine with the closure and we, we were looking for an alternative. And uh, Stavel Lux was brand new at the time. Yeah, uh, nobody had it. We, we found it in Scandinavia on a New Zealand wine. And then we, we were searching for the producer and uh, uh, found it. <laughs> And then we, uh, we worked on, on machines and then we, 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 we tested it a lot and uh, we immediately believed in it because uh, it was, um, you know, the working with it was, was very proper and clean and, and, the, and, the, and the physical um, things were, were, were unbelievable for us. Yeah, you know, you have, uh, you can put two, 2.5, three bars of pressure on the bottle and nothing happens it's great yeah and so uh, and we thought you know we, we don't use wood in the winemaking so uh, we also thought it's not good to use wood to close the bottle yeah so it fits very good to our style at that time the acceptance for for screw cap was not so high on our markets uh, it was a big thing at that time um, but we had a degree of freedom. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, unusual things in the past, so our, our customers accepted it pretty right from the start. 2014 is our tenth vintage we uh, uh, we seal with um, Selvin Lux, and um, you know a lot of wine people have theories how do uh, wines behave under screw cap, but nobody knows. Or a few people know. Maybe in Switzerland or Australia, more people know than than here. And it's, it's that okay? It's it's a it's a decade, and we put all the wines on the table, yeah, to to um, to let people taste, yeah, the good and the bad vintages, yeah. It's uh, yeah, and um, and it, it works pretty well. Yeah, even for um, for a complicated vintage like 2006, it's it's better when the wines age without oxygen. Yeah, and a good vintage, it's even better, of course.